Hi, I'm Kate Carter. And I'm Eugenie Scott. And we're here with our chimp friend to tell you a little bit about one of our new SBC activities, which is all about the evolution of bipedalism. So since it's Halloween, and since you might want to get into character, we're going to teach you how to walk bipedally like a chimp. Where else are you going to learn something like that than from NCSC, I tell you, right? <clears throat> when you look at a chimpanzee pelvis, the top bone of the pelvis, which is called the ilium, is very long and it's very narrow. And of course, what do bones do? Bones provide attachments for muscles. Muscles move things like legs and arms. So because of the way the muscles attach on the pelvis of a chimpanzee, they move very differently from humans. If you look at a human pelvis, the top bone, the ilium, is considerably shorter and it's much wider. And that changes the locomotor muscles so that we can stride with a straight leg as opposed to a chimpanzee which has to walk with a somewhat bent knee gait and kind of bent over so the center of gravity is different and it's this sort of funny choppy side-to-side -side motion which we will demonstrate. We will. <laughs> One of the other things that you'll notice if you ever watch a human walk in slow motion is that most of the time we actually twist our body very slightly counter to the direction that each foot is going. What we notice is that chimps actually swing their torso as well, but they actually swing their torso into the leg. So if you want to walk like a chimp, you're actually going to have to train yourself to twist your torso in the opposite direction. And I bet you can't wait to see this. Yes. Chimp's toes are kind of like our thumbs in that they are um, separate from the rest of their toes. And as a result of this, and as a result of their center of gravity and the way that they walk, they actually walk on the outside of their feet. Wow. <laughs> 